Hi, I'm Dan Farm. I'm pastor of Outreach at Autumn Ridge Church. And I'm excited to introduce to you a program called Food for Friends. Food for Friends began as a conversation with our church and a couple local schools, elementary schools. And we decided that we were going to adopt them and see if there's ways that we could help them. And those discussions led to a, some surprising facts for us. We discovered that there is a, a great number of students in our community that are going hungry. Not only hungry during the week, but there's some of them that are not even being fed on the weekends. And that's unacceptable. And so what we've done is we've, we've partnered with the school district and other churches and, and other organizations and different companies and we're going to fight this, this need that's out there and we're going to find a solution for it. And so what we've done is the Food for Friends, which is a backpack program where, uh, for example, our church comes together once a week and we pack the backpack full of different foods that the children get on Friday. They take it home with them. They bring their backpacks back the following week and uh, uh, we've seen remarkable success with this as uh, the, the kids have been receiving the food and, and the nourishment they need to be alert and ready for school on Monday. You're going to be hearing in just a minute from the two principals of the local schools that have been participating in this program. You're going to find out what a difference it's made in the, the lives of their students, in those families, and in the school district. So I'm excited for you to hear this. And then we're going to talk about at the end, what is your role? How can you be involved in this? And how can you help us make a difference in the lives of these children and in our community? Well, Autumn Ridge contacted us and uh, at Bishop and also Bamber Valley looking to establish a partnership. Um, and essentially, we talked about doing some um, work with tutoring and academic needs. But as we visited, we identified physical needs um, like having food over the weekends and other things that kids need and as we talked about what kind of partnership we'd like to develop um, the programs to support um, physical needs really developed out of that. One of the needs that we saw and we're so excited about with the backpack program was the ability to fulfill a basic need, a need of food and the students that were coming that we saw on Monday coming to school um, were students that were hungry over the weekend. They didn't have a resource to go to. It was becoming stressful for the children. They were taking it upon themselves. And what we found through this backpack program is that they come to school um, with their stomachs full and their minds ready to learn. We also have seen the alertness in the students, just that extra energy that the food provides them to be able to focus and to be attentive. Um, we've also seen a collaboration where they are feeling so proud to get the backpacks and then they have been encouraging other people in their neighborhood and sharing with them about the backpack programs and they'll be bringing their friends in, hey, can we get this person signed up? And so we've actually reached you know, a capacity, but the word is getting out and the kids are starting to spread because they have this caringness that they want to share with others and make sure that others are involved because they see how they're benefiting. Oh, the responses have been great. When we were signing kids up for Food for Friends, um, I would visit with kids about what the program was and why they might want to have their parents sign the form so they could participate. And the children were very excited to be involved, um, very excited that it was food they could themselves prepare if they were on their own. Um, and some kids have asked, uh, wondered very excitedly whether there'd be specific food. One child wanted to know, would there be chicken noodle soup? Um, which, as I thought about it later, I thought, what a great thing that he wasn't wondering if there'd be candy or chips or um, those kinds of unhealthy things. He was hoping for a pretty simple thing that a lot of us have in our cupboards all the time. When kids have peaked on their way home, because we have staff members have noticed that, um, and you will see a smile on their face with whatever food it is that they're um, seeing in their backpack. And um, I have asked the kids, how do you like the food? And, I, and I've always gotten a very enthusiastic response about it. Knowing that we're not alone um, because we can't do it alone and knowing that we have partners that have come alongside us to help these future generation of children that will become adults in this community, it is just so remarkable to have a partner that way. Well, I hope you've caught the vision for Food for Friends. Now the next question is, what is your role? Well, the opportunity is great and the need is great. And this is a chance for you to come on board, to partner with different companies in your community, with the school district, with churches, with different organizations. And we can change the lives of one student, one pack at a time. So I wanna thank you for taking the time to, to evaluate what is my role. And I also wanna thank you for taking a step forward in changing the life of a student and therefore changing your community. Thanks for taking the time.